okay guys now we shall see can we define or over low uh, can we define or overload a jsp underscore jsp service method in the declaration tag of a jsp yes i agree jsp tag is useful for uh, defining your own methods now i'm trying to override a same method obviously the answer is no why no because underscore jsp service method is a life cycle method of a jsp which has been supplied by jsp container and it is automatically coming when your jsp page get processed by uh, page translation phase means what is the meaning of page translation phase your jsp page will be converted converted into jsp equivalent servlet dot java file same page will be recompiled and next it will be forwarded to the request processing so before that request for request processing and response sending to the browser okay uh, when the jsp equivalent servlet page will be created inbuilt internally okay jsp init underscore jsp init underscore jsp destroy and underscore jsp service with the http servlet request and http servlet response which throws the exception servlet exception or exception this method will be automatically added into jsp equal and uh, yes. jsp equal servlet dot java program file then what i'm trying to do I'm trying to redefine the same method in my declaration tag. Will it allow now? No. Because underscore JSP service method is a life cycle method. Right? As you have seen in the previous classes. In SLS class itself. In SLS class itself, we have seen that uh, JSP need JSP destroy. Right? Uh, let me open the code if you're not happy with this, sir. Open them, sir. Let me open the SLS code. Apply the software foundation, Tomcat, uh, web apps, 4, and declaration tag. So, what do you see here? By default, you will get a underscore JSP in it, underscore JSP destroy, underscore JSP service in JSP current solid program, right? Yesterday, we will try to redefine this method by using declaration tag. Now, today we shall see, I wish to override this method, but the answer is not possible. The answer is not possible. Now, don't worry, I will prove the practical proof. I will give the practical proof. Okay, first we shall see practical proof, then we will get the answer. Then we will write the notes point. So, let me add a declaration tag here, exclamatory mark. So, here let me add the exclamatory mark. So, public wide underscore JSP service, JSP service. So, here is my HTTP. HTTP solid request REQ HTTP solid response RES HTTP solid response RES and it, this method throws this method throws solid exception solid exception and IO exception. Okay, and this is the body of the method. Nothing. I'm not. I'm not going to do anything yet. Just I'm writing system dot out dot println. Okay. Where I'm now? This is body. Instead of keeping the empty body, I'm writing some logic. What is the logic? Just to show a message. Okay. Uh, what should I write? <coughs> I I'll write up my own method. Okay. Programmer defined underscore JSP service method right okay guys fine so I'll try to keep this method I'll try to keep this method in my uh, SLS program in the SLS JSP program declaration tag so let me go to declarations web INF right this is SLS code this is SLS code right okay what I'll do I'll put the comment I don't want I don't want, don't want this comment and I will delete that uh, I will delete those files windows e what are those files jsp service so apply the software foundation tomcat work catalina localhost 4 org apache jsp 
and I'll remove both declaration and declaration example JSP dot Java and dot class files. Deleted. Deleted. Eh? Fine. So I'll return the same code in my. Now what I'll do? I'll I'll get this. I'll grab the same code from the declaration tag, and I'll copy into my JSP. I'll copy into my JSP. Look at here. So here is my scriptlet tag. Okay, and here is my declaration tag. Agree? Remaining all are commented, except this one. Agree? Fine, guys. So public wide underscore JSP service. Method HTTP solid request request HTTP solid response response and it throws solid exception and I/O exception and I wrote a message called system dot out dot print and uh, programmer defined underscore JSP service method right so just save save the and uh, let me start my Tomcat look. Tomcat started successfully. Now I'm trying to open a browser, uh, localhost. Okay, now you should see the error. I should expect the error. What? Duplicate method. Right? Uh, have you got the answer? Duplicate method, which is underscore JSP service. Okay, programmer defined method. Fine. Understood? Now what I'll do? Now I will go to the JSP. You will get dot Java file, but dot class file is convert. Con dot class file is generated. This is deleted earlier, huh? Now it is generated. It is trying to add the both the service method, my own defined and JSP container supplied. Just see, this is my programmer defined method. Agree. I'm going, I'm scrolling down, scrolling down, scrolling down. This is what? This is Tomcat container supplied method. Right? Uh, Jasper, JSP container is Jasper. Catalina, Tomcat. Right? Uh, Jasper container supplied lifecycle method. This has been provided by Jasper container. And this method is written by me. Another method is written by me. Right? Uh, does it allow now? Does it allow? No. We'll throw an exception. Duplicate method. So that's what the answer is. Not possible. Okay. So this example proof. So not possible because 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 JSP service method JSP service method becomes becomes duplicate method of already existing <coughs> already existing JSP lifecycle method along with the already existing JSP lifecycle underscore service method <coughs> service method the page compiler generated JSP service method. JSP service method. Of JSP equivalent. Solid. Right up. Is it clear? Clear. You and you can try same thing by using a. Declaration tag also. So instead of writing this one, you can use JSP colon 
JSP colon declarations. Now next we shall see an example uh, XML syntax. Example JSP example. JSP example on. JSP example on. XML syntax of. Syntax of. Uh, declaration tag. Okay.